It's good to be here today. It's good to see this number come out of God's house today. And good to see our visitors. Uh, just uh, y'all pray for me as we uh, try to speak a little bit today. And then uh, uh, Brother R.C. asked me to, uh, uh, to do this today. And so we're going to do the best we can. And we're not going to hold you long, so you don't have to uh, worry about that. But uh, if you'd like to read along with us, uh, in Luke, the first chapter, uh, 26, the 26th verse through the 35th, and then we'll go to Luke, the second chapter, 1 through 7. So, uh, before we get into the reading, let's have a word of prayer. Our precious Heavenly Father, we're so thankful to be able to be in your house once again, and we thank you for all that you've done for us. We pray, dear God, that we just might live a life of children in you. We pray, dear God, for the, all the ones who are sick today that you're touching the other bodies, if you're not will. And we pray for the lost you save their souls before it's too late. We pray, dear God, tonight, today, that uh, something might be said or done, that some lost soul might find you before it's too late today, dear God. Help us to always be what you want us to be. And forgive us of our many sins, Lord, and be with us as we try to preach your word, Lord. We ask it all in Jesus' precious name. Amen. In the uh, uh, Luke, the uh, first chapter, beginning with the 26th verse, and it says, in the sixth, And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent uh, from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Uh, and now, first of all, uh, when we're talking about the, in the sixth month, uh, first of all, uh, uh, the angel Gabriel had, had uh, went to Zacharias and, and he told him that uh, he would have... Uh, he and his wife would have a son that God had heard their prayer and, and it had been a long time ago now. Uh, they had been praying all this time, but then uh, they had done found out, and uh, this is talking about Zechariah, they found out that uh, I mean, uh, they done got well stricken in years, but all of a sudden uh, the angel came to uh, Zechariah and said, your uh, prayers have been heard and, and uh, uh, you and your wife will have a son and will be called John. So, uh, and then this is in the sixth month and uh, 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 this and this is when it, does, it starts out right here and it's in the 26th verse and it says, in the sixth month the angel gave... Now first of all, the John was a forerunner of, uh, was going to be the forerunner of Christ and so... Uh, uh, and so all of this was taking place and, uh, and now it's in the sixth month and it says in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin spouse uh, to a man whose name was Joseph and, the house, uh, and of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary and the angel came in unto her, uh, to her and said Hail thou that art highly favored the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this, would be, this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth his son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and, and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the high shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. I'm about to read a little bit first. Uh, uh, and then let's go, uh, go to the uh, 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 time was passing on. And so let's go on to the uh, uh, second chapter and beginning with the first verse and go through the seventh. Uh, and it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was uh, first made when Serenus was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth unto Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. 
because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. Now, uh, we're talking about when Jesus was born, uh, uh, the Virgin Mary it was just as the, the, the uh, uh, prophets had foretold long ago that, that this would happen. And now, all of a sudden, this thing has happened. And uh, uh, now we have a Savior in the world. Uh, can you imagine what Mary might have thought when well, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the angel approached her and told her that she was going to be uh, the mother of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? I mean, that had to be a, 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 thing, a thing of great joy. But also, can you imagine what she thought? You know, I, 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 I don't know a man, and here I'm going to be, I'm fixing to be married, and, I, I, and I, I now I'm going to have a child. What will people say? But the thing about it, she was highly favored with God. And this thing happened because God wanted it to happen. And so she said, let it be. I'll, I'll take it on. So then that's what happened. So now then, uh, 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 Jesus is born. So what we want to do today is, is uh, take a walk with Jesus. Now, if we took a walk with Jesus, uh, we would see Jesus being baptized as John. And uh, uh, as, as Jesus began to uh, start his ministry, uh, 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 he went and was baptized with John. And, but but let's go into first of all uh, in the Matthew uh, three and uh, eleven through thirteen, and uh, this is when, what John said. Now first of all, John had already come on the scene, and, and uh, 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 he'd come out of the wilderness preaching and uh, telling the people to repent for the kingdom of, the, of heaven is at hand. And, and all the people began to, uh, to come to John and, and to hear him preach and, and, and to be baptized. And then uh, this is what John said, uh, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, uh, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. And he's talking about Jesus now. And with, uh, with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Whose fan is in his hand. And he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garden. But he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to, uh, to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. So, so here comes uh, Jesus as, as a, uh, being baptized with uh, Je uh, Jesus come and uh, at one, uh, uh, in one place uh, John says behold the Lamb of God and, and here comes uh, Jesus up to John uh, to be baptized of him. this is what we see if we took a walk uh, with Jesus and, uh, uh, and as he uh, came up there uh, John said no you, I need to be baptized of you and he said uh, let this thing be so because this is the will of God so uh, 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 Jesus was was baptized of John. Uh, uh, then uh, he was beginning his ministry. Uh, and uh, if we took the uh, walk with Jesus, we'd see Jesus as he was led up with the Spirit in the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Uh, uh, and Jesus was uh, uh, fasted 40 days and 40 nights. Now I believe that, uh, that what Jesus was doing was getting ready uh, uh, for this uh, bigger thing that he had to go through. Uh, uh, and when we, we all need to, uh, uh, when uh, God gives us something to do, we need to get it ready. We need to get ourselves uh, in the shape to do what God wants us to do. Uh, oh, well, in my mind, I see that Jesus, uh, uh, as he went up in the wilderness uh, uh, and fasted 40 days and 40 nights, I see him getting ready uh, uh, to face the devil and all the things that the devil has for him. Uh, and then uh, uh, the Bible says, after he, uh, after these 40 days and 40 nights he was a hunger uh, uh, and the devil began to talk to him uh, uh, can you imagine if you was hungry really really hungry uh, uh, and the devil came at you uh, uh, what would you give up uh, uh, for just a little bit of something to eat? but let me tell you uh, uh, Jesus didn't do that uh, uh, he uh, uh, withstood all the things that the devil uh, uh, put before him uh, and the Bible says uh, uh, that after he uh, did this uh, uh, the devil left him out and the angels came and ministered unto him. Uh, uh, let me tell you something. If we want uh, 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 the angels to minister unto us, uh, uh, let's try to withstand
understand the things uh, uh, that the devil puts before us. Uh, uh, if we took a walk with Jesus, uh, uh, we would see uh, Jesus as he called his 12 disciples. Uh, uh, now, uh, now, Jesus knew what he wanted. Uh, and these people, uh, uh, these men turned the uh, world upside down uh, uh, because uh, uh, they went with Jesus and uh, uh, followed after him. Uh, uh, we would see him as he uh, taught his disciples uh, uh, how to be humble by washing up uh, uh, their feet. Uh, uh, and my, uh, by the way, he teaches us to, uh, uh, to serve others, not to be served, uh, uh, but to serve others. Uh, uh, we would see Jesus uh, uh, when he healed the man with a withered hand uh, uh, and when he gave sight to the blind. Uh, uh, can you imagine uh, uh, if we walked with Jesus uh, uh, and we saw this man with a withered hand uh, uh, and Jesus told him to uh, uh, stretch it forth uh, uh, and the hand uh, uh, became right uh, uh, and he began to be able to use his hand up uh, uh, like everybody else. Um, all the blind people uh, uh, that could not see uh, uh, and Jesus uh, uh, as he walked up to them uh, and began and when they wanted him to heal did he heal those uh, and made them see. Uh, let me tell you something today uh, uh, we, uh, as a lost person we're blind uh, uh, but when Jesus come into our heart uh, uh, he made us be able to see uh, uh, his word uh, and see what we needed uh, uh, and how we needed him. Uh, uh, when we uh, I see Jesus uh, uh, heal the man uh, uh, with a with hand. Uh, uh, we know that God can do all things. Uh, uh, we, we see the woman uh, uh, which was diseased with an issue of blood uh, uh, 12 years uh, uh, healed uh, uh, by just touching the hem of his garment. Uh, 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 we can see this lady uh, uh, as, uh, uh, as she went down uh, uh, and uh, was uh, 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 had this disease for 12 years uh, uh, and it was a crowd of people around Jesus. Uh, uh, and she said, uh, uh, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, uh, uh, I can be whole. Uh, uh, and uh, I can see this lady in my mind uh, uh, as she walks through. Uh, uh, and all these people are there. Uh, and I can just imagine her being uh, uh, bowed over and everything. Uh, and she makes her way uh, uh, through the crowd uh, uh, until she reaches Jesus. Uh, uh, and she touches the hem of his garment. Uh, uh, and she immediately she is made whole uh, uh, right then. Uh, uh, because uh, uh, she knew uh, uh, there was a man uh, uh, there that could touch, uh, uh, touch her uh, and do it. And then uh, uh, Jesus said, uh, uh, who touched me? Uh, uh, and uh, uh, the disciples said, oh, Lord, uh, look at all these people that's gathered around you and you say, uh, uh, who touched me? Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, Jesus said, uh, uh, I felt a virtue go out of me. Uh, I know that somebody touched me. Uh, uh, listen, uh, 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 all we have to do uh, uh, is depend on Jesus. Uh, if we walked, uh, if we took a walk with Jesus today, uh, uh, we would see Him uh, uh, when He healed the ten lepers. Uh, uh, in uh, Luke the 17, uh, uh, chapter 11 through 16, it says, And it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem, uh, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee, uh, and as he entered into the certain village, uh, uh, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. Uh, uh, and they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, uh, Master, have mercy on us. Uh, uh, and when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it uh, came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was uh, healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. My friend today, as you can see, these, and now, I, I can imagine these ten lepers, you know, uh, they had to, to stay away from people and, uh, and they, they would have to hold up their hand and say, unclean, unclean, not still, uh, not get around here. I can see them as they probably did that and then they said, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. And then Jesus looked at them uh, and, and uh, He said, go you show yourself to the priest. And as they was going to the priest, they saw that they were cleansed. And only one turned back to give him thanks. It's sad, but I'm, a lot of times that's what we do today. Sometimes Jesus heals us of things, keeps us from being hurt in certain ways, and we say, well, we're lucky. We were just lucky. We wasn't lucky. God took care of us. 
If we took a walk with Jesus, we'd see Him as He called Lazarus to come forth. Again, if we took a walk with Jesus and we saw Him, uh, first of all, as, as uh, uh, Mary and him sent and told Jesus, said, our brother is sick. Won't you come and, and do something? And Jesus, the Bible says Jesus stayed there uh, two more days. And then they went to, to where they was at. And uh, Lazarus had already been dead, been buried and dead for four days. And uh, Jesus walked up to the thing and they told him, said, He's been dead four days. He said, He's stinking now. He said, Roll the stone away. And when he rolled the stone away, this is what we'd see if we took a walk with Jesus. And we'd see that. Uh, that he uh, with a loud voice he told Lazarus to come forth and Lazarus came forth bound in all the stuff that he was bound in and Jesus told him said, uh, I'll loose him and let him go so uh, uh, that's what we would see if we took a walk with Jesus now I want to tell you something all Christians take a walk with Jesus just about every day now, every day that we read God's word we take a walk with Jesus We would, we would see Jesus uh, uh, when He uh, met the woman at the well. And after talking with uh, Jesus, she left her water pot and went into the city and said unto the men, Come see a man which told me all things that ever I did. Is this not the Christ? So she goes and she tells these people and they come out to see Jesus and they find out for sure that this is the Christ. If we took a walk with Jesus, we'd see Him as He went into a, a city called Nain. There, there He met a, a people carrying out a dead man, the only son of His mother, and she was a widow. Jesus had compassion on her and touched the coffin and said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. And he that was dead set up and began to speak. He delivered him to his mother. Now, uh, again, as you, you see, and I don't know what people around might have said when this man sat up after Jesus uh, uh, told him to, to uh, 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 he, uh, when he brought him to life again. But anyway, uh, this is one of the things that you would see if you uh, took a walk with Jesus. And you would see Jesus as he went uh, to the uh, country of the Gadarenes and met a man full of the devils and was uh, with no clothes and lived in the tomb. And he was uh, uh, kept with chains and fetters, these are shackles, that, and he broke the uh, bonds. Uh, 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 he was a lunatic person and uh, 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 he was lived in these tombs and then, uh, they couldn't keep him bound uh, uh, and all this. But, uh, uh, but when he met Jesus, Jesus healed him. And uh, uh, when the people around there uh, heard that, uh, uh, that this had been done, they come to see uh, uh, the man that was lunatic uh, uh, and the man that was crazy, uh, uh, and uh, uh, they, uh, uh, when the people saw it, uh, uh, they they were uh, uh, become afraid, and they told Jesus to leave, and, uh, uh, and Jesus left. And the man with the, uh, that was lunatic, the man that uh, there were, that had been healed, uh, uh, wanted to go with Jesus, and Jesus said, "No, you stay here uh, uh, and tell people uh, uh, about what happened to you." Uh, and that's what he did. He spread the news all around uh, and later on we see uh, Jesus come back to uh, uh, the gathering and uh, uh, and the, all the people had gathered around that heard what Jesus had did and, and they, they gathered around uh, and brought the sick people to him uh, uh, so we see the man uh, uh, that uh, that was healed we see what he did uh, <clears throat> and anyway uh, then you would see uh, as he uh, 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 as he went to uh, 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 Excuse me, I'm getting lost here. If we took a walk with Jesus, you would see the religious leaders of that day uh, having Jesus nailed to the cross. This is the sad part. We'd see all the religious leaders calling out for Jesus to be crucified. We'd see Jesus as He uh, went to the Garden of Gethsemane and prayed. And He asked God if this cup could pass from Him. But he said, not my will, but thy will be done. Yeah. But the religious leaders would have no other way except that, they, that he be crucified. The religious leaders did this 
But it was our sins that put Jesus on the cross, that nailed Him to the cross. We would see Jesus buried in a barred tomb. And then we would see that Jesus raised the third day and He now sits at the right hand of God making intercessions for us. We would see that. We can be saved and live with Jesus forever by accepting Him as our personal Savior. People say that I've been too mean, too bad to be saved. I say, look at Paul. A lot of people have told me that and I tell people about Paul. He was named Saul. But he was a mean man. And he did a lot of things against Jesus. But one day, and he was there when Stephen was stoned. One day he was on his way to Damascus to put people in prison that called on Jesus' name. And he met Jesus on the way. And Jesus saved him. And then it turned him completely around. And he began to do and work for Jesus. He became a mighty, mighty man for God's kingdom and for His glory. I would like to say today, if you need anything from Jesus, you will take a walk with Jesus. And every day, let's take a walk with Jesus. We just talked about a a few things that we would see if we took a walk with Jesus. But if you took a walk every day, you would see more and more about what Jesus has done for us. Anybody got any words to say before we be, be this minute? Okay, you're up. Now, excuse me, we're going to have, have a... You see, I get all mixed up. Did you stand? Thank you.